Hello everyone. My name is Vikas Deep. I am a 3x Salesforce certified consultant currently working with Horizontal. So today we would be discussing about Salesforce Health Cloud. What is healthcare industry? What are the benefits of Health Cloud and how can a beginner start practicing on to Health Cloud org? So let's begin. Before we get into the technical aspect of Health Cloud, let's get a functional overview of Health Cloud. Health Cloud as the name implies revolves around the healthcare industry. So let's talk about healthcare in general. Healthcare is an industry that provides medical service, care, products and offers insurance. If we divide healthcare into broad components, it would be medicinal care, care, manufacturing of devices and insurance. Now you must be wondering what are these components. So let's take an idea about them. Medicinal care is the medicines which a doctor prescribes to any patient that visits the doctor. Care are of different different types like curative care, preventive care, rehabilitative care and palliative care. These care can be availed at a care center or at the patient's home. Then comes the manufacturing of devices. So all those devices that are used in the healthcare industry be it a small syringe or be it a highly complex operating device all those falls under this manufacturing of devices then comes insurance so all the medical insurance or different types of plan which a patient opt for falls under this category of insurance now we have an overview of healthcare now let's dive deep into what is healthcare industry what are its sub sector or what are the pillars of healthcare industry so the healthcare industry is divided into four major pillars or four major sub industries. The first one is healthcare services and facilities. They are also known as providers. The reason they are known as providers is because they provide the healthcare service. For example, hospital. Hospital is a provider in healthcare sector. The second one is medical devices, equipments and those manufacturers who supply equipments to the hospital. They are also known as medtech. The third one is medical insurance, medical service and managed care. They can be clubbed together as insurance. They are known as payers. The reason they are known as payers is because they pay for the services which a patient avails. And the last one is pharmaceutical and related segments. They are associated with medicine and the research and development of different kinds of drugs. So now we have an idea about what is healthcare, what is healthcare industry, what are its four pillars or what are its sub industries. Now let's understand health cloud. Health cloud is a Salesforce product and it comes as a managed package. Health cloud offers a platform for patient management and engagement. It is important to understand it is not just to manage the patient, but to engage them and engage them in such a manner that they feel they are getting the required proactive cares. Health Cloud aims to resolve the challenges which are there in the traditional way of patient management and it does that by providing a 360 degree patient view to providers or to care teams. Now you must be wondering what is a care team, what are care coordinators, so we also need to know a little bit about the different terminologies which are used in Health Cloud. So let's get an idea about these terminologies. The first one is payers. Payers are the one which pays for the services which a patient avails. For example, insurance companies, they are payers. The second one is providers. Providers are the one that provide service to the patient. For example, hospitals, they are providers. The third one is pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical are the medical companies that provides medicine. After pharmaceuticals, it is care coordinators. So care coordinators are the doctors and the nurses. Then medtech. So medtech are those manufacturers that provide medical equipments or medical supplies or medical devices. Then comes EHR. So EHR is the electronic health record. It is the data which a patient provides and which gets stored in the system. So the patient data gets stored in the system as EHR or electronic health record. Then the care plan. So care plan is made by the care coordinators for patients. Now the last one is HL7. HL7 is a standard, is an international standard about the security of data which gets stored in the system. So the patient data which gets stored in the system, whether the data is secure or not, that get recognized by the standard HL7. Now we have an overview about Salesforce Health Cloud. We discussed about the 360 degree patient view. 
which Salesforce Self Cloud offers to providers or to care teams. But what exactly is a 360 degree patient view? Let's see what exactly a 360 degree patient view offers to the providers or to the care team. Here is a screenshot of the Health Cloud org and it is from the perspective of a provider. Here you can see that in a single tab or in a single screen there are the patient navigation is available, the patient info is available, the patient card is available, the timeline of patient, all the care plans of patient, all these things are available in a single screen. So the care provider do not need to swap the screens time and again to check that what immunization does that patient have, what are the medications that patient have. They can see all those things in a single screen. This is what is known as the 360 degree patient view and it offers a great bit of help to provide proactive care to the patients. Now let's discuss about the benefits of Salesforce Health Cloud. Salesforce Health Cloud offers benefits to all the four verticals or all the four pillars of healthcare, be it providers, payers, pharma or medtech. For providers, it offers a 360 degree view of patient data, a complete patient experience and a real-time patient coordination and engagement. For payers, it provides member care management program at large scale. It provides a personalized member service. It offers the management of complete member journey. For pharma companies, it scales and streamlines their compliance and adherence. It personalizes the patient experience and HCP experience. It collects and analyzes the critical product data and process the information for pharma companies. For medtech, it increases their sales from engaged and empowered sales and account team. It enables and leverage account-based forecasting using Einstein and it increases the positive experience and outcomes for patient. So Health Cloud is beneficial for all the four pillars of healthcare industry. How to get started with Health Cloud? If you are a beginner and you want to practice into Health Cloud org but do not want to pay for that org, you can get a free trial org of 30 days. You can search on internet about free trial org of Health Cloud and you will get a trial org link. You can fill the form and you will receive an email where you can verify and start using your Health Cloud org free for 30 days. And if you want to buy the license of Health Cloud and you want to install the Health Cloud Manage Package, in the existing org then you need to enable person accounts you need to enable contacts to multiple account setting and you need to enable chatter settings so this was about healthcare industry health cloud what are the benefits of health cloud how can you get started with health cloud as a beginner thank you so much guys.